logarithmic equations question 2 find domain of following functions here we have four functions for us and we need to find domain I'll do two for you and these two are practice problems try them on your own correct now one is f of x equals to log 4 of log to the base 4 of 2x minus 10 and b is f of x equals to log to the base 4 x square minus 4 now strategies let me show now what I will do this time is I'll do part A with the help of inequalities and part B with the help of a sketch correct so it's giving you different methods so that you can adopt the one which you like now our argument 2x minus 10 should be positive that is to say that 2x minus 10 should be always greater than 0 for log of 4 to be a valid function correct since log is not defined for negative numbers or even 0. Now to solve this, let's take 10 to the other side. That means add 10 to both sides. So when you add 10 to both sides, you get 2x is greater than 10. And now next step is divide by 2. So when you divide by 2, you get x is greater than 5. And that is your answer. So simple as that, correct? If you really want to graph it, then the graph will look like this. What we can do is we can find x and y intercepts of 2x minus 10. Now, okay, so let me do it separately to show you. That is, we are writing y equals to 2x minus 10. That is a graph we are trying to make y here and x here. Now, now, when if you put, if you solve this, let's take if you put x equals to 0, what y value do we get? We get minus 10. Let's say this is our minus 10, right? Let me write here minus 10. Now if I put y as 0 then I get x as 10 divided by 2 so I get plus 5 correct so those are my two points and I can join them and get a line correct now you can see from this that line is positive after x value of 5 correct and therefore from the line we get our result correct that's how it is other way to plot was minus 10 is your y intercept b value and then slope of 2 rise over run right gives you the answer correct now you could write this answer in many different forms as we said seen earlier you could write this as as where should i write let me write it here okay this is our answer we say well the domain of the function d over x is equals to x belongs to real numbers where x is greater than 5 okay that is one way of writing it the other way is that we could write as an inequality just written like here or in interval notation we write like this it is from 5 to positive infinity not including both of them remember you can never include infinity perfect now that's our solution for part a now let's try to do part b now here I'll sketch this. It is easier and better. x square minus 4. x square is a parabola like this, right? Minus 4 means moving it 4 units down. So let's move it 4 units down and draw x square minus 4. So this is x square minus 4. Now which are these points? These are my x-intercepts and these zeros I will get when x square minus 4 equals to 0 we can calculate perfect we say well x square minus 4 equals to 0 it means it means what it means x square equals to 4 right it means let me do here x square equals to 4 or x equals to plus minus square root of 4 which is plus minus 2 so I have minus 2 here and plus 2 here good now from here can you tell me what is the domain of this function log 4 to the base 4 and argument x square minus 4 clearly the domain is that it should be either greater than 2 or less than minus 2 do you see that so that is the domain for this function now you can write down this as so i'm giving you now set of answers for this it is from minus infinity to minus 2. Union means both include this and 
from 2 to infinity and from 2 to infinity that is what we are writing it correct or you could write this as x is less than minus 2 and and x is greater than 2 that could be another way of writing and in set form you can write x belongs to real numbers so that x is less than minus 2 and x is greater than 2 so these are different ways of writing the domain of the given function now here are two problems for you to practice so c is f of x equals to log 4 x square and g of x is log of x plus 1 times x minus 2 follow the method i will suggest sketch a graph that could be a better way for you than doing inequalities so whenever it comes to you know square functions graph may be simpler for you okay now all the best now let's move on to question number three thank you